Let's watch an amazing water vehicles. Water Car Panther. The Panther is a commercial amphibious car manufactured by California-based water car. The Panther entered production in 2013. It was introduced in 2013 after 14 years of development by founder Dave March. It is currently being produced in Fountain Valley, California. The water car Panther Amphibious Jeep, $135,000, comes with a 3.7-liter V6 engine from Honda, you know there will be plenty of performance on land and on water. The power pumping out of the Panther ensures that it gets the accolade as the world's fastest amphibious vehicle, capable of 80 miles per hour on the land and thanks to a jet propulsion system will push it across the waves at 44 miles per hour. And getting from water to land is also fast, with the vehicle able to complete the process in 15 seconds, Gibbs Quad Ski. The Quad Ski is a four-stroke amphiquad that converts to a personal watercraft. It can attain a top speed of 72 km per hour, 45 miles per hour, on both land and water, and features a proprietary marine jet propulsion system as well as wheel retraction, allowing it to transition between land and water in about 5 seconds. It uses a marinist version of BMW Motorrad's 1.3-liter engine from the K1300S, developing 140 brake horsepower, 100 kilowatts, although power is further curtailed to about 80 brake horsepower, 60 kilowatts, when in land mode. The transmission in the quad ski is unique. You can manually change gears, without a clutch, up and down, but when you utilize the single brake lever, the transmission shifts down gears automatically so you will be in the right power range again when you pull in the lever-operated throttle. While shifting gears with the push-button changer is easy, the steering is tight and takes a bit more strength to turn the bars than most ATVs. The four-wheel hydraulic disc brakes do a decent job at stopping the heavy amphibian, Amphibious car. This amphibious car story is really different. Well, three Egyptian friends design a car like jet ski that can drive on water. The vehicle was designed by Kareem Amin and his two friends. It can hit a top speed of 70 km per hour and has Bluetooth surround sound speakers to blast your favorite summer tunes. Also, for safety. The three friends have built 12 vehicles so far the cars can cost anywhere between $19,000 and $44,800. Schiller Bikes The Schiller Bike is an exceptional piece of engineering. It is, in effect, a bike on pontoons using pedal power to propel itself around your chosen body of water. With a billion bikes on the planet built for land, Schiller Bikes decided it was time to pedal the road less traveled. Or more precisely, the water less biked. Founded by Jessica Schiller, in 2013 she became the first person in history to bike across the San Francisco Bay and Hudson River. She now heads up a company that builds recreational water bikes. Built with stainless steel and anodized parts to minimize corrosion, the Schiller water bike is ridden just like any other, propelled by pedals and steered by handlebars. It even has a fairly conventional bike frame. Sherp ATV Sherp is a Ukrainian all-terrain amphibious vehicle. The key feature of Sherp vehicles is the large wheels with an onboard system to inflate or deflate them which allows vehicles to travel through water and cross brushwood scramble. Sherp ATV is the world's most capable vehicle in terms of off-road performance, IT can easily overcome obstacles up to 70 centimeters high. It is also capable of going through deep snow, sand, marshes and floats perfectly on water. It only weighs around 1,300 kilograms so it is incredibly light for its size and capabilities, and despite its minuscule footprint it can carry a payload of 1,000 kilograms. This makes the total fuel capacity 232 liters and given its low fuel consumption of 2 to 3 liters per hour. Kio Rescue Vehicle Kio can wade through water of up to 5 feet deep. 
It also comes with a firefighting water pump and two water tanks capable of carrying 650 liters of water. The vehicle is designed to float like a boat, with the help of flotation bags that can be attached to the wheels to improve its buoyancy. It is powered by a massive 6.0-liter LS2 V8 and designed to go up a 70-degree incline. GL can be managed to transport 11 capable people and fitted with different attachments to operate in or perform different roles. GL Rescue is the ideal solution for transportation in all terrains and weather conditions. With off-road solutions borrowed from racing and a concept that is close to racing, the performance version of the Rescue is actually a powerful and fast all-terrain vehicle. Iguana Commuter The Iguana Commuter is built in France by Iguana Yachts. The Iguana Commuter is the largest model in the classic line, the Iguana Commuter is truly unique, the big difference is the wheels have been replaced with a track system that folds up out of sight when the boat is on the water. The Commuter Yachts is an amphibious vehicle which can move on both land and sea. It is powered by outboard engines which powers tracks to move on the beach. Engine options range 400 HP to twin Mercury 225 HP engines reaching 42 knots. The commuters for beach landing on sandy or stony terrain have a track torque of 2,200 newton meters and a land speed of 7 kilometers per hour. On water or on land, an iguana yacht turns heads. UHAC Amphibious Vehicle Ultra Heavy Lift Amphibious Connector is a spectacular amphibious vehicle that sets new standards in amphibious vehicle category. The full-scale UHAC is able to haul up to three US Abrams main battle tanks at a time. It is made possible by lightweight track segments, making treads provide the fully loaded vehicle a ground pressure, a few pounds per square inch. This UHAC weighs 38 tons and is just under 18 feet tall. A full-scale UHAC would be able to transport up to three main battle tanks at up to 20 knots, have a range of 200 miles.